hello friends i hope you're doing well i'm telling you once you purchase one rose guess what you're not gonna go back you're gonna keep buying more roses yes so i just want to share that with you if you're thinking of buying one rose please know to yourself you will be buying a lot more roses okay i'm only talking from my own experiences here so anyways so in today's video, I have a bare root rose. I'm going to pot up with you guys. All right, friends, so here it is. So I got this from Home Depot yesterday, yes. <laughs> and friends, this is something I noticed. So Home Depot, they have a lot of bare root roses still, right? But guess what? They're in such quality condition. Look at this, they're blooming. They're not half dead looking. So I thought to myself, wow, that's really interesting. So maybe because they have them in the open and we've been getting a lot of rain here lately, but their bare root rose is looking so good. So if you're looking for bare root rose, I recommend checking out Home Depot friends and see what they have. And if they look anything like this with all this foliage and blooms, go ahead and purchase it, right? But if they look half dead, please don't waste your money. Anyway, so I found this one. This is called Modern Blush and let me go over the requirements here with you and it was 14.98 and i do notice they take a long while before they put their roses on sale i don't even think they even put their roses on sale so if you're waiting for their roses to go on sale just just buy it as is anyways i also noticed lowe's which is really weird they had a ton of roses right and i went there looking for the roses and I don't know what happened they're gone and the guy at the store was trying to help me and he's like I don't know what happened to them but I think it's so weird that they would have probably sent them back or whatever the case to do with them because we're still in the season right and the roses they had they look healthy even the clematis the roses and the clematis they're missing I have no clue where they are but next time I go there I'm gonna really find someone to help me to see where they are because you know sometimes they move the stuff up in the stores because they need spaces but friends I walked the entire garden center looking for the roses at Lowe's and I was not able to find them so I don't have to put them in an area where it's not the garden center but I I just can't believe they throw them away i don't know they they're not in the clarence section they know in the garden center i have no clue where they are but i'm gonna go see if i could find them anyways so windy so as you know it was prefer full sun it says moderate fragrance it blooms spring summer and fall that's what i love about shrubs perennials flowers anything for the garden is giving you all three seasons of interest i do enjoy that and this will get two to three feet tall and wide and it's hardly from zone 2b so that's pretty good right zone 2b so my friends in zone 2 zone 3 this rose is perfect for your cold winters it will survive your winters for you so friends when i saw this i just had to get it and the reason behind me purchasing this is simply because and i'm going to take you to the front in a second i have this large pot at the front of the garage and every year i buy annuals stick annuals in there and i'm trying to avoid buying annuals yes we need some annuals in our garden but if i could avoid it why not right so that container it's so large it stays out i got it from ollie's bargain center maybe like maybe four or five years ago it stays out it's weather resistant love it so guess what i'm gonna put this rose in there and i don't have to worry about buying annuals for it every year i buy annuals for spring summer and fall i'm going to take you in the front i'm gonna plant this rose up but this is a spent bloom and friends when i purchased this yesterday this was fully bloomed and this was a tiny bud and look at it i can't believe it it has a very slight smell and i don't know why i'm smelling stuff and i'm so congested from having sinus but who cares right very very slight smell but you know with roses you have to wait until they're first year for everything to adjust like their bloom sometimes the first bloom is not the true bloom color and all the good stuff anyways so i'm gonna take it to front i'm gonna plant up this beautiful rose i just love the light pink color i think it will be a great compliment to the front garden bed so I'll be doing a tour of my rose garden for you soon, but here's a sneak peek. You can see some of the roses here, friends. Anyways, let's go in the front. Um, this is the front. This is the garage right there. And then here is the pot, okay? So 
as I said to you before, I normally have my annuals in here, spring, summer, and fall. So there were some old annuals in here from the fall season. Ouch, can't even come out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig this out properly, right? Get, level off as much soil as I can, take it out, and then I'll show you. I have a potting soil I'll be using, fresh soil. Because remember, the rose is going to live in here for a while. So I want to make sure I give it the best fresh soil ever and not reuse this soil if that makes sense i can just reuse this in a container for some other plants anyways so question is when you put a rose in a pot friends you have to have a large pot i would say maybe 10 gallons but really really large this is huge i don't know how much gallons this is but it is huge maybe the picture the camera is not doing justice to it but this is a large planter anyway so we're gonna go take out all this dump the old soil in here and then fill it with fresh soil friends this is madness at my best <laughs> so i already took out a lot of soil from in there and i got half of the soil out so i'm just gonna tip it over try not to break my pot because it's ceramic and just dump it in the black garbage bag and then i could reuse it from here for other planters but once again, make sure you give it fresh, healthy soil. This soil in here is not, it's not fresh. It's healthy, but it's not fresh. It's been in here since last year. So I just needed some fresh soil, especially with the rose. It's a perennial, right? So it stays in here for years to come. Whereas your annuals, they're just in the planter for a temporary period. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you. And the container is empty, yay! I'm gonna take some water with a ton of dish soap and just rinse out the planter. They want any insects or anything in there, just, just precautionary reasons why. <laughs> you just never know, right? Anyways, I think I'm just being extra careful because the rose bush will be living in the container. So I just wanna make sure I give it a healthy container for it to you know for it to survive and thrive anyway so here is the pot in mix it says it has fertilizer and it's for the container okay so let me show you how to plant a bare root rose i know everyone probably have their own way of doing this this is how i do it and it works so the soil is in and friends look at this I love the texture in here because it looks like they haven't mixed with perlite, sand. You could see it has the grainy texture to it and that would help with drainage, right? In a container, you want the best soil that helps with your drainage. And then off camera, I did it, did it already. I just took my time and just do this very carefully because this is ceramic. I don't want to break it, but I did it so that way the soil can settle itself in. Okay, and I have... And I left enough space here for the rose. Normally with bare root roses, you definitely should soak them at least, I would say 24 hours. But the great advantage that we have friends with this rose is simply that it's, it's, it is bare root, but we have the foliage here. It bloomed already. So we know this rose will do well, right? So if you're thinking, are you intimidated by buying a bare root rose? Don't be. Go check out your Home Depot, even in Lowe's. See what you can find. And if you have your rose looking like this already, friends, that is an advantage to you. Yes. Anyway, so I'm not going to soak this for the reasons that I stated. We have foliage. You're looking good. It's not dehydrated. So let me open this and let's see what the roots look right, like. Friends, you can see it was ready. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It was ready to come out so i'm just gonna take my time here and just gently massage the roots i'm just trying to take away the soil from it but this soil is doesn't do anything for the plant right now we need fresh soil take your time remember roses are very resilient plants Can you believe that? This actually bloomed. Just look at this. And it's very healthy looking, friends. You can actually see that. Very, very healthy looking. 
you go. So I just trim off these, just these loose pieces that were there. And I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna plant this up to right here where my thumb is. The roots are so stiff, right? So I'm gonna try to do this off camera. It's really hard doing this in one hand and showing you. But I'm just gonna make sure the roots are spread out like this in the center. Very important to keep it positioned in the center. And I'm just gonna put a soil right here where it was in the container, right by my thumb there. You could see the dark mark. All right, friends, here it is. <laughs> it is not quite centered, but that's okay. Cause remember, I'm gonna get branches coming out from here and you won't even tell there's a difference, right? But anyway, so this is how I planted it. And what I did when I was burying the shrub, I just took my hand and I pressed down. Let me put my gloves on so I can actually show you. What I do with not just roses, but perennials, anytime I plant something so that way the roots get contact with the soil. So when I water it, there's not gonna be like a big hole and the plant moving around. So it helps to keep the plant and the root firm in the planter so that's what i did here and as you notice here friends whenever you plant in any plants in any containers do not put the soil all the way up to here or even here because what happens is that when you water it the water is going to rise and then it's going to settle so if you have the soil all the way here and you water it it's going to spill over so very important always leave i would say depends on the size of the container like here this is probably maybe four to six inches so this one has enough space for the water to rise and then go down to the root so i have my water already here so before we water it friends i'm gonna go here and just clip off see that i'm gonna clip off in a 45 degree angle if i can do this while holding the phone <laughs> i'm just gonna clip off any dead woody looking stem my goodness this is so stubborn today there's not much to really do just a little one right here there we go and then yeah, not much but just trying to tidy it up it's in pretty good condition and then I'm gonna remove this spent bloom. Yes, goodbye spent bloom. So that way the plant would get the energy and make new blooms for me. Okay, spent is gone. And then I'm gonna leave this alone. It's so pretty there. Maybe tomorrow when it becomes spent, I'll clip it off. And friends, when you plant any perennial shrubs, annuals, you have to make sure you water them in, especially your shrubs. So I have my water already here for me. So I'm gonna give this a large drink of water, okay? And then I'll probably skip watering tomorrow and I'll water the next day. So maybe every other day, depends on how hot it is. I'll just come out here, keep my eyes on the rose and see how it's doing. All right. And friends, I love this picture here, this watering can. It's from the dollar store. Like, like when I plant something, I don't like to water it like with such an open large mouth like if i use the can i have any ground there i don't like doing i like to use the narrow mouth of the watering can so you could just water it as opposed to just taking this entire metal tin and just pour it in there i don't know just one of the weird things about me so with this i can make sure the water is evenly distributed and don't worry this is fresh water i had the soil in there that's why it looks like that and don't try to just pour all the water in here just pour and just keep your eyes on it and then you'll see the water going down slowly right and here you can see it's draining out so once again very important make sure your planter has a drainage hole and you could see running out 
when the water in here goes down i'm gonna come in and add the rest of it so don't try to drown the plant and just pour the water at once just leave it so that way the water can go through the soil and penetrate the soil and do what it needs to do okay don't rush the process friends one minute later <laughs> this is exactly what i'm talking about see you can see the water is going down and then we can come in and add the remainder of the water in here. friends it is ready and what i did here i put a butterfly here just to offset the left side having more greenery than there's nothing on the right but remember don't worry it's a rose bush it's gonna spread out it's gonna fill in as i said to you before gardening it should not be about instant gratification right this feeling is watching something you plant from a seed and watch it grow as opposed to buying a plant and it's already to its potential so, and you could see the water is draining down yes so that's why i stress to you when you plant anything in a container do not fill the soil all the way to the top very important leave some space there anyway so tomorrow i'll come back here and i'll keep my eyes on it just to make sure it's doing well and i think when i see new shoots coming from it i'll probably just put some mulch on top of it just to help keep the roots cool it is still cool but especially when the hot heat comes the summer will be here soon i'll probably just put some mulch on top but anyway friends and i'll definitely be giving you updates in my videos to come and i'll be sharing with you my rose garden yes make sure you subscribe for that blooms i did give you a sneak peek in the beginning so i'll be doing a recording when it's not so windy so you can actually see the beautiful roses in the garden let me know down in the comments below did you plant a bare root rose how is it doing for you and which one did you plant anyway friends thank you so much for being here all the way to the end and thank you and i'll see you in the next one cheers